Hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, otherwise known as Poglo Escobar. Bloody hell, sodding raccoon shot me at the start of the video, wretched swine. Right, okay, I'm going to remember that. Right, okay, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, what was I say? That's right, well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, to this video. And there's that sodding raccoon stood around quite content with himself, you know, perfectly pleased with what he did, showing no remorse or, 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 or anything like that, you know. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here we are inside my maze bank offices. Uh, yes, that's my secretary. Now, I must warn you, don't speak to her, ladies and gentlemen. She's a member of a brainwashing cult, don't you know? A cult which I've recently joined. Actually, I've got some pamphlets I should show. Uh, but uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're uh, not here to discuss cult activity today. We're here to look at the Weenie Issy Sports, ladies and gentlemen. And the Weenie Issy Sports can be found under the legendary motorsport website. No, I'm wrong, aren't I? It's actually under the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website. And there we go, the Weenie Issy Sports ladies and gentlemen, retailing for a price of just basically a million dollars, $897 uh, generally speaking, on sale while I was purchasing uh, this particular vehicle, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, there we go. Okay, now uh, we're uh, going to head on up to uh, Hillcrest, ladies and gentlemen, we send it up there as we always do, and we'll be going to get there in our uh, Ocelot Pariahs, don't you know, rather fine vehicle, you know. Uh, in fact, well, one of the fa possibly the fastest on the game in terms of uh, just a straight street car, you know. Uh, but it is only in a straight line, that is, you understand. Okay, okay, well, here we are, like I say, heading on up to Hillcrest, ladies and gentlemen, with a little bit of luck when we get up there. Uh, blasted raccoon beat me, didn't he? Yes. When we get up there, the, uh, the, uh, the Weenie Issy Sport will have been delivered, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly what we're hoping for. Okay, yeah, so the Ocelot Pariah, ladies and gentlemen, highly recommend that vehicle. One of the best vehicles on the game, you know. Anyway, we're going to go on inside now and see if the vehicle's been delivered. And there she is, the Weenie Issy Sports. Okay, what do we think, ladies and gentlemen? Well, looks remarkably, um, remarkably like the uh, the the standard Weenie uh, Issy, doesn't it? Apart from those, uh, the, the spoiler there, and well, perhaps a couple of differences, you know, the sort of uh, the fenders and whatnot, the roll cage. Uh, but generally speaking, pretty very similar looking car, isn't it? Now, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, then. Well, we're going to take a quick once round, and take a quick look at the vehicle without me in the way, and then we're going to take it out onto the street and see how she handles okay then here we go and that's pretty much that right we're gonna take it out and uh, see how she goes now that is mr. raccoon there in his uh, Oslo prior not really a very fair to stack this vehicle up against the prior you know as I say it really is a very fine vehicle uh, and it costs uh, at least uh, sort of half a million dollars more there don't you know so you know there's a different price value and all that uh, but that, that vehicle has been driven by my good friend uh, Mr. Raccoon, you know, his name's uh, the Bromby, uh, if you go and check out uh, if you type his name to YouTube, uh, you should be able to find uh, his channel, he's got some rather interesting videos on there. Okay, so what do we think of the Queenie, whoops, a daze is right, okay, rolled it across the sodding road there, that's the first time I've done that, you know. Okay, so what do we think of the Weenie Issy Sports, ladies and gentlemen? Well, as you saw coming down the hills, there is rather weavy, weavy, you know, not too bad. It's got a very short wheel there, so it's very stable, uh, a very stable car, don't you know? Uh, this is the Weenie Issy Sports, so of course that gives you an indication it is uh, a little bit on the faster side compared to uh, the standard uh, the standard Weenie Issy. In fact, this is quite a lot faster, you know. Okay, so here we go. What do you think? Straight out of the box, are we? See, ladies and gentlemen, whoops, a daisy sodding raccoon ran me, didn't it? Ha <laughs> ha there you go, spinning across across hard cheese, old boy. Oh, tough luck, you know. <laughs> I mean, rotten shame, man. Okay, well, we've got it around the track, ladies and gentlemen. Fairly impressive car. In fact, it's a very impressive car. I'm not going to split hairs about these things. But this is the uh, uh, unmodified version, don't you know, Mr. How about that, Mr. Raccoon's going to hold it on its side on this particular video. He's uh, been kind enough to join us in the custom auto shop, don't you know. Okay, well, here we go. We're going to go on. take it on inside now, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, perform the necessary upgrades. Okay, so, and here we are. Side at the custom auto shop, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, uh, during this stage of the video, we will be going our uh, try, uh, going at double speed, you know, in order to hurry things along somewhat. And as you can see, my good friend Mr. Raccoon has uh, hopped out of the uh, vehicle there as soon as we've entered, and now he's staring at me and dancing around like an absolute maniac. Yes, now I see why he wanted to come in. Okay, yes, very good, Mr. Raccoon. I'm sure everybody is absolutely amused and delighted by. Yes, yes, very good. Different dances, I see. He really is 
is a rather annoying raccoon, that creature, you know. Okay then, so uh, what do we think of the Weenie Issy Sports, ladies and gentlemen? Well, straight out of the box, it's bloody good to be quite frank with you. Uh, excellent handling, excellent uh, acceleration, good top speed, you good top end speed, you know. Uh, yes, I thought the raccoon had settled down. There we go, let's see a bit more dancing. There we go, go on, jolly good old boy. There we go, like to see a bit of move, movement, you know. Make the video a bit more interesting, why not? Okay then, uh, so yes, straight out of the box, ladies and gentlemen, it really is very good, got to say, you know, bear in mind this is under a million dollars for this particular vehicle. Okay, and as you can see now, we're taking it to the custom auto shop, there are rather a lot of modifications that can be affected to this vehicle as well, so you're getting your money's worth there as well, you know. Some of the spoilers a little bit iffy in my opinion, but there we go. Okay, but uh, like I say, as you may have seen earlier, we've flipped through some of the libraries, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, this vehicle uh, not only has the option of a uh, of a respray, but you can put libraries on it, and when it comes to the respray, as you can see, you have a primary and a secondary colour there. So, uh, two-tone colour and libraries, ladies and gentlemen, so plenty of room for uh, personalization and uh, when it comes to the modifications, don't you know? Okay, then, and uh, obviously we have now reached the uh, the respray, which means uh, God willing, we'll be reaching the end of this section of the video as well. We'll have to uh, miss out on Mr. Raccoon's dancing there, which really is a rather a rotten shame, you know? Uh, but uh, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen we're uh we're going to uh take this car back out onto the street now that she's been fully modified uh and we're going to see how she handles with all of the upgrades don't you know once i finally decide on a color scheme and mr raccoon advises me for a uh, black and white there and you know what i think he's right on this occasion uh, and so i'm going to stick with it there we go and we're going to head on outside Okay, Koki, now Mr. Raccoon does have himself a weenie, it's his sports zone, who knows, so we're going to put them both around the test lab. Okay, now this will be the standard lab, and what do we think? Well, straight, out, uh, straight off the line, ladies and gentlemen, extremely good acceleration. If you hit a post, it sort of slows down somewhat. We give you a chance to have a look at that acceleration again. Okay, handling, well, as you may have uh, gathered by the fact that I hit the inside lamppost. Whoops, a day is okay, hit a car there, not so. That's sort of my uh, shoddy driving, you should realize, ladies and gentlemen, not the car. Here's, like I said, the very fact that I... Uh, that I cut that corner so close I hit a lamppost and uh yes you gotta get another shot another chance to see here ladies and gentlemen yes extremely tight cornering ladies and gentlemen a uh, very very good cornering uh, the top speed now we're gonna get a chance to look at it as we go down this street and yes not too bad is it okay you know for the money and all that considering it's a small little hatchback car you know uh, and yeah not too bad at all really okay then so uh pretty good uh, right, so there's only one more thing now, I suppose, ladies and gentlemen, and we're, we're okay, when the hell did we get the police after us? Okay, didn't realize that. Right, no, right, okay, they sort of blocked us in there, haven't they? That's really, uh, that's really rather what we have to go around them. Yeah, so, yes, that's it, ladies and we're going to go around them, we're going to go and take it on up to the test track, don't you know? Uh, but before we do, uh, I do realize that uh, on my lap there, ladies and gentlemen, it's rather embarrassing, you know? Hadn't done the engine upgrades, uh... Yeah, so if you thought, oh, I didn't see much difference there, there was a reason for that, you know. Uh, uh, shocking oversight on my behalf, but there we go, you know. Uh, that sort of thing can happen when you are uh, playing with raccoons. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we've taken it up to the test track, and like I said, we're now going to see exactly how competitive this car is. Now we're putting it up against the Fista Comet Retro, don't you know? Uh, the standard Fista starts at $100,000. Uh, this, uh, the Retro has a great uh, half a million at least. Uh, I'm sure it's going to to around the $700,000 mark, you know, uh, we're putting up against a $900,000 uh, car here, and there we go, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, the Mr. Comet is behind, okay, then, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the Weenie Easy Sports can take down the Mr. Comet Retro, uh, and there we go, okay, well, expect that sort of thing, you know, rather than all car and all that business. Okay, so now we're going up against the Obey 8 Drafter, ladies and gentlemen. This was uh, one of the uh, cars to be released, you know, don't you know, on the uh, the Casino DLC there. Uh, similar sort of price range, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a little bit cheaper than the... Uh uh, than the Pista Comet there, this one uh, retailing for a price of $718,000, I do believe. Uh, rather rapid car, you know, rather fast car, and we're going to see exactly how it stacks up against the Weenie Issy Sports. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, rather surprisingly, you know, it looks like the Weenie Issy Sports is going to take it. So, it's not a bad car, you know, if you look at the uh, the Obey A uh, Drafter video, you get an idea of some of the uh, other cars that this uh, this little uh, car can be. Okay, so it's the Flash GT now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, retailing for a price of $1,675,000. 
And what do we see, ladies and gentlemen? There we go. Okay, that's the uh, that's the Vapid Flash GT coming past the uh, coming past the Wheelie EC Sports there. But like I say, it was okay. Mr. Mr. Raccoon seems to seem to lose it there, didn't he? When it went a little bit wobbly, you know. Okay, well, it does. Uh, yes, he sort of butchered that corner, really didn't not like him at all. But uh, we have run this test several times, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Queenie always does get around the corner quicker, and it gets across the line quicker. So there we go. Okay, can take it down, you know. Okay, so we're going to take it up. Uh, that's uh, can take down the, uh, the, the uh, what the hell was that? That's the Flash GT. Okay, then. Yeah, so, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to take it up a, a rather serious knot, you know. This is the... Uh, the Comet SR, uh, this is uh, retailing for a price of $1,145,000, I do believe, something along those lines. Uh, okay, and it looks like uh, it's very close there on the uh, getting around the corner, got around the same sort of time. Unfortunately, I came into the back of him there, lost some speed, but even so, ladies and gentlemen, yes, there we go. Okay, so now we're sort of starting to see the, uh, the, the chinks in the army, ladies and gentlemen, you know, starting to see the cracks now. Okay, so let's take it up then, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Zen Corno, technically retailing for a cheaper price than the Weenie is Sports, you know. Uh, $725,000, I do believe it is, for this particular vehicle. A very, very fine vehicle. One of our personal favorites here on this channel, though, you know. Uh, and as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, Yes, okay, the Weenie AC Sports, I'm afraid, is not going to be able to keep up with the Zentorno. Uh, and thank God for that, you know, it'd be rather embarrassing if you were flying on the street in this vehicle and a Weenie AC Sports came past you. Okay, mind he's getting, no, he's not getting close at all, is he? Okay, well, never mind, there we go. Okay, now, we would normally call out the GTO at this point, but uh, we're going to try it up against a uh, uh, sort of oddball here, ladies and gentlemen. This is the, uh, this is the uh, True Fate Thrax, don't you know? A thoroughly disappointing vehicle when it was released, you know? Retailing for a price of $2,325,000. Couldn't beat its own little sister around the track, uh, uh, the, uh, the True Fate Nero, you know? Uh, the True Fate Thrax, we really don't think much of this vehicle, you know, but uh, thank God for that, it can actually beat the Queenie Issy Sports. Okay then, uh, so there we go, right, uh, what are we showing here, really? We're showing that the uh, under million dollars sort of souped up hatchback can't beat supercars, and no surprise there. Anyway, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it's the final masquerade as uh, Mr. Raccoon has taken to calling it. This is the Garotti GTO. Uh, and there is no question on this occasion, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to beat the hell out of the Weenie Izzy Sport. Uh, because it beats the hell out of pretty much everything, don't you know, at least for the time being. Okay then, well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, as we can see, uh, we're only doing this, uh, we're not really even to humiliate this vehicle, we're quite fond of it, you know. Uh, but this is just what we like to do at the end of the videos, you know, again, bring out the GTO because it's such a stonkingly good car, don't you know? Okay, so that's it then, ladies and gentlemen, the Weenie is his sports. Okay, bringing it to a stop, and uh, what will we think of it? Well, you know, quite to be quite friendly, under a million dollars is not all that bad, you know, not a bad car at all. Right, okay, what's a sodding raccoon? What's he doing now? Trying to. Sh yes, well, you're not going to set it on fire like that, are you, Mr. Raccoon? Okay, yes, we're well, very good. Yes, there you are, stood in front of the camera, we just have to move that around, okay, oh, he's turned his back right now, it's my chance, take that, you sodding raccoon, ha ha ha, finally got my own back on him, didn't I, that'll teach him to shoot me at the start of a video, anyway, go ahead and buy the Winnie Sports, it's jolly good, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you for watching.